Thank you so, so much for tuning in. So today is part one of a nautical wedding series that I have going on. So if you haven't already, make sure that you turn on those notifications and set them to all so you don't miss any of the videos. So today I am making a nautical wedding seating chart, but of course this is totally customizable. You can use it for any event or even home decor and just add personal pictures. And this video is sponsored by ShopTagger. If you don't know what ShopTagger is it is a web app that acts as your personal assistant so it lets you know when all of the stuff you want goes on sale which is perfect if you have a wedding coming up because you can buy things at a much lower cost so let me show you how to use shop tagger and then we'll get right into the video on Google Chrome, you're gonna to wanna to go on shoptagger.com and once you're on the website, you're gonna to wanna to install that little shop tagger button. So all the way to the right, there's gonna be a little option that says get button. I already have it, but this is what it looks like. It's this cute little widget, which is gonna pop up when you're in stores. Now you can shop directly from the shop tagger website because they have a list of all the stores that are supported or you can go on your favorite website I'm on target.com and once you pick an item that little widget is going to pop up and it's gonna let you select the color size whatever it is it's also going to let you select when you're notified I always click to notify me when any price changes and then I add it to a list now they will notify you immediately through email or push notifications on your phone and if you want to add it to another list, it's super easy. Just go back to the website and click on add new list, name your list and click save. Another really cool feature is that the item that you chose, if you click right at the bottom, it's going to show you similar items within the same price range in case you're interested in those. So be sure to click the link in my description to download ShopTagger. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because once you do, we instantly become best friends. Did we just become best friends? Yep! And please give this video a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. And let's get right into the video. For this project, I'm going to use nine six by eight stretch canvases from Dollar Tree, but you can use as many as you need. Now, if you have an odd number of tables, you can use the rest for menus or details on the couple. I'm gonna re be removing these staples using my upholstery nail remover. Now you can use a screwdriver or whatever is easier for you, but this makes it go by so much quicker. So I'm only going to use the wood on the inside and I'm gonna go ahead and sand it just a bit. I don't plan on staining this, but it is a good idea to sand because it is just going to look so much nicer. So this sanding sponge is also from Dollar Tree. I've used it in quite a few projects. And now it's time to figure out how I'm going to position this. Now you can either use it vertically, horizontally, in rows of two and one up top. It is totally up to you. But to bind this, I am going to be using my Gorilla Wood Glue. You can use whatever glue you feel comfortable with, but I really like using Gorilla Wood Glue. It hasn't failed me, it doesn't fall apart. So even though you can't get this at Dollar Tree, it is totally worth it. I believe a big bottle is about three to four dollars. Now to make sure that this is nice and secure, I'm gonna be using these giant binder clips to make sure that the pieces of wood are clamped together and attached. Now make sure that you're adding a generous amount of glue, but not too much to the point where it's seeping out. And even though it is seeping out, you can just go ahead and sand it later on. When I get to my second row, I want to make sure that that row fits nicely as well. This is why I really, really love using the wood glue, because if one piece really does need to be adjusted, you have enough dry time to where you can move things around, which is what I'm doing here. By the way, they do have binder clips at Dollar Tree, but they are really, really small. So I actually purchased these at Walmart. They come four to a pack. I don't remember how much they are, 
but I do use them in a lot of projects and of course for their intended purposes, which is to hold papers together. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete all three of my rows. And the key here is to let it dry really well. You can also use really small nails to make sure that none of this is gonna fall apart. But I feel like these pieces of wood are so thin that that really just isn't necessary. This isn't going to be very heavy. So when my third row is complete, I'm gonna let this dry overnight it doesn't take that long to dry but that's how long i allow it just to be on the safe side while that dries i'm going to work on my actual seating chart and i know i'm going to get questions so i'm going to show you how i did it i use an app called fonto i just used a plain white image and then i clicked on add text now they have a ton of fonts available, but I always use custom fonts from dafont.com, one of them being Magnolia Sky, and that is what I used for table one. Now you can center it or you can resize it, which is what I did. I put it in the center and then I resized it. It's super easy. You can just drag that or do it with your fingers since this is on your phone. And then I added more text and for the name, I used the font called The Skinny, which I also got on defont.com. It looks a lot like the Ray Dunn font, which is why I really liked it. So I wrote out all of my names. You can do spaces or no spaces. And once I had those, I clicked OK. I placed it where I wanted to, and then I went ahead and saved this. And I actually just had it printed at Walgreens in regular four by six paper. So now that this is completely dry, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the binder clips. And before I move on to my next step, I wanna make sure that all of my pieces are completely attached, that there are no pieces that need to be re-glued. Even though Gorilla Wood Glue is amazing, there's always some pieces that you really just wanna make sure are good. And I am shaking this and pulling on certain stress points to see if it comes apart, and it did not. So now it is time to add my craft sticks. These craft sticks are from Dollar Tree. They are the bigger ones, and I'm gonna zoom into the size right now. Now for each frame, I did end up using eight popsicle sticks. So I highly recommend that before you start gluing, that you measure out to see if the popsicle sticks need to tr be trimmed down, which these are actually a really nice size for the frame. You don't need to trim them down at all. And then I used that one frame as a guide to add the popsicle sticks on the side. So to attach them, I'm actually gonna be using the same Gorilla Wood glue that I've been using, but I'm only gonna add a very, very small dab to the side because I don't want this to seep onto the popsicle stick because it's very, very hard to sand down popsicle sticks and not break them. So for this, I am gonna be very light-handed. And then once everything is covered, I'm gonna let it dry really well one more time. Once it's dry, I'm gonna shake it and move it around to make sure that everything is attached. And then I'm gonna use these tiny little clothespins, which I found in the craft section of Dollar Tree. For this, I am going to attach it using hot glue. I just felt like it was a lot easier. And if I did change my mind, I can just pull these off with no problem. I'm trying to get them as centered as possible and as high up. And once they are all attached, I wanted to add one more little detail. Dollar Tree has these adorable little wood cutouts in the craft section. And since this is nautical theme, I figured I'd add this to the top just to make it a little bit more interesting. And the way that I did that was with hot glue in case I did change my mind or I wanted to use this for something else later on. You can easily pull this off and sand down the hot glue if it did make any impression on your wood. So I'm trying to get this to where it doesn't cover my pin and it doesn't cover my seating chart. And here are the printed seating charts. I felt like printing them on photo paper was just so much easier for me. But of course, you can print them on regular cardstock at home or any type of paper that you have. If you have a nice cutter or you're really good at cutting straight lines. So even though it looks really good as is, I wanted to add some greenery to this. And originally I had planned on using Dollar Tree greenery, but I just really didn't like how it looked. I also bought Walmart greenery, which I'm a huge fan of, but then I found this at Michael's. Now it was priced at $15, but I actually rang up for six 
and for this whole project I only used one little stem so I had enough left over to drape some up top and then use the bottom as a little garland for the table. You can also use it for your centerpiece, just a thought. Or you can just go ahead and use the Dollar Tree greenery. I just thought that this looked so good. When I was done, I had this beautiful and unique seating chart from Dollar Tree Materials. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments section below what wedding theme videos you would like to see. Don't forget to check out ShopTagger, and as usual, thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.